people. <laughs> Breenie Maxwell here, and yes, it's, it's time again for Ask Breenie. Your opportunity to ask me a question. Let's see what our querent wants to know. Uh, Breenie, what do you think of this no poo trend, as in no shampoo? I want luxurious locks, but is this wise? Uh, they say uh, to use baking powder and vinegar instead, but, well, I'm worried that I'll have greasy hair and smell like a giant Arm & Hammer salad. <laughs> Help, uh, Sparkle Neely in Oakland, California. Well, dear Neely, uh, no poo, low poo, pooless, poo-free, sans poo. Hmm. This trend and the marketing terms for it makes you wonder just what it is they put in shampoo. Mm. Well, let's cut the pooty and get down to brass tacks. This idea is not a new one. For years, women went to the beauty parlor once a week for a wash and a set and didn't shampoo between visits. In certain states, they still do. In the 70s, we were treated to pssst, a dry spray shampoo that's just been re-released. Proponents of the uh, no poo method claim that the chemicals in commercial hair products strip the oils from the hair and cause excess production of sebum by the scalp. Experts say that eliminating shampoo and conditioner from your routine will leave your hair greasy for five to seven days, but it will return to normal after that. Of course, your decision to cut the poo all depends on what style you wear your hair. It's obviously not suitable for elaborate updos. Should you choose to pursue the poo-less lifestyle, you can mitigate oily locks with a bit of cornstarch combed through. It will absorb the oil and make your hair more manageable. So, what's your problem? Come by AskBreenie.com and post a question in the box. You never know, you might see it answered right here on Vrini.tv. Until next time, I'm Brini Maxwell. Bye now.